Okay, so uh, learning objective. Basically, all the concepts covered by the lecture, the short version lecture, five, six, seven, eight, ten. Covered by lecture and assignment and uh, interpretation of figures again the growth curve, standard curve, uh, mutation rating, organization, lack of run. A few highlights. I mean, this those are already covered in the first part. Lack of run, genetic selection, complementation, serial dilution lab, immunocytometer usage, uh, linear up model R square, basic phylogeny, uh, mega usage. So, that's the, and then there's also a, a practical, uh, I guess, exercise if we just do some warm up, you plan to do this. Uh, yeah, so I basically collected some of the questions just for you to go. But it doesn't have chapter 5, for some reason I kind of wrote chapter 5 into this one, so chapter 5 is not here. Uh, I have that. And then those are for question, uh, second part, uh, review question. So it's basically a uh, zip file. Uh, if you click, you should download it to your uh, own computer. So I'm downloading to my current computer now. Uh, let's see where it is. Uh, download. Yes, review the review tool screen and the four exam number two review. Uh, those are basically uh, some sample questions we, we go over in the class, including the previous year's exams. Uh, sometimes it's uh, because this year we have a schedule is a bit shift, so some, some of the questions are still in exam one. Otherwise, exam two. And then uh, some of in class questions. This computer is incredibly slow. I just try to open PowerPoint. Thank you. <laughs> uh, okay, so those are some of the questions when we went over in class. Uh, okay, for example, this one. Uh, Given the uh, equal genome size, the average protein is this, and what's the team that? This, this seems to be a very uh, simple question for you. Now, I mean, uh, so here the each amino acid will account for three uh, uh, base pairs. So, and then you come about, uh, oh, I, I, the, the, in this question, it, it's a bit uh, ambiguous. 5,000 or 5,500, I don't think I'll do that in the exam. <laughs> so the choice will be obvious. <laughs> this one. Uh, yeah. So, okay. Uh, so here's another question. I, I think I even draw this on the board. And this is a question basically asking for semi conservative DNA replication. So the, the parents have two copies. If both copies are, uh, are labeled, it's going to split into the the two cell after the device. So that's basically. Uh, <coughs> uh, uh, this is a question I really like. Uh, so you really need to know how to do this. So, so the the idea is the you want to know how the DNA replication works. Doesn't matter whether it's DNA replication or RNA uh, uh, polymerase uh, transcription. Uh, so the idea is for both, DNA, for both DNA and RNA polymerase, it has to work on the three prime end. 
uh, in fact, if it doesn't work on three prime n, you can imagine how is that going to work. That's because the uh, triphosphate, the nucleotide, has to be added to the three prime n. If it doesn't, if the DNA polymer try to work on five prime n, that triphosphate high energy bond has to be on the five prime n for the RNA polymer to work. And since the high energy one is unstable, that means the DNA structure will not be stable. So it actually, based on some mechanical uh, principle, it, uh, it's just not wise for, for our cell, the DNA or RNA polymer to work on five prime n because the, the structure won't be stable. Okay. So, but then you, if it's all from three prime n, you just look at the uh, C, T, T, T. Well, this one is actually quite obvious. Yeah. All right. Which I'm following is to, oh, this is, this is a simple question. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, this question uh, you want to really know. Uh, I can tell you there will be a question like this in the I, I think if you, if you understand this, you you understand quite a lot. You will understand uh, translation, transcription, and how a, a genetic code. <laughs> so this is a very good question. <laughs> so you want to make sure you really understand. So the idea is the, this is the mRNA, and you want to pay attention to the five prime and the three prime end. and. I, it may or may not always the five prime end is here, but you want to pay attention to where the uh, the T R N A where the five prime where the three prime. But uh, whatever strain is going to base pairing, it always has to be anti parallel. So this is five prime, this is three prime, and then the five prime has to be here. But if it's a flip, if the five prime is here, then the five prime M R N A should be here, and then your codon when you read the codon should be from right to left. Am I clear? Okay, yeah. Pay attention to the five prime, three prime. But like if I if, if I flip the five prime tRNA to this position, and the mRNA five prime has to be this way. So the 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 best pairing is always anti-parallel. But if I flip the five prime to this one, the, you, when you read the codon, you have to read from right to left. I always five prime to left. Okay. And then you look based on the five. Uh, Five prime to three prime reading. Then you look for the genetic table to see what I mean. I say. I guess. I guess. Okay. Good. All right. Uh, well, this is a uh, given. I don't think I'll okay, give this in the exam, but it's good for you in class to review the concept. Uh, but I, yeah, usually, uh, after having the beta sheet, they are all. How did the bound play the important role? In alpha helix, is the way within helix, in beta sheet, is the between sheets, uh, between strands. So, so this is a, okay, this is another one. Let me see. Uh, this is an antibiotic inhibitor DNA dependent amyloid synthesis. Uh, if, a, if this is added to the cell, Protein synthesis will be uh, it won't stop immediately because the MRA is still there. Uh, my because if we, that seems to make sense. So B is probably true. Let's see. I'll stop uh, climbing you now. Uh, stop at the ribosome behind the S. Oh, uh, no. This is inactivated uh, MRA synthesis, so it's on ribosome. Okay. So it's B is the right. Uh, oh, this is still a base pairing rule. Uh, it's not the involving vector, but you can go over this. Um, uh, do I need to go? Uh, you can go over some of this. But, uh, those are basically this question I feel like this. Uh, so a gene can have four exon and any of the three exon. For, for example, any of the three axons can be returned into MRI, so how many different proteins can this gene generate? Uh, this is basically multiple splicing isoform. You just write down, take a piece of paper, find out how many combinations. What? Yeah, that's just, uh, so you have one, two, three, four. 
just take one, two, three, and then one, two, four, and one, three, four. But then you, you got the one has been delivered, and then two, three, four. That's it. There's no more three. So one, two, three, four. It should be four. Uh, yeah, this. Not sure how uh, this can, but uh, I guess you can you can look carefully. Uh, just look at the thing, see whether it is the inverted repeat, and or you can do it systematically. Uh, but A G A G T A G A T. This looks like it's directly. A D A T T A right. So this one A T A T T A. Uh, well, the oh actually no, the, because that's a sense string, so it won't face pair with itself. Right. So it's B. Yeah, it had to be B because uh, this is one string. It had to be the other way around. It had to be five hundred. So B is actually correct. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So I guess A. Is, they are just too well uh, at the deep point. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay. Uh, so anti cooldown. Oh yeah, this is this is anti cooldown uh, TRNA structure. But I think we did this in the class. Uh, <coughs> well, it's probably Alan, but the five prime, the three prime, that's five prime is very fine. And the cooldown will be G C C, and then you look at the G C C C like the which point this is. Uh, this is lack of problem. We uh, won't do this in class, but let's do this. You want to work on this one on your own? Oh, okay. So the lack of problem will have a lack. I, which is a repressor, the repressor will bind to the uh, O, which is the operator, and the lactose will bind, when the lactose, the present lactose can bind to the lac I repressor and uh, remove the lac I from the operator position, and then the RNF memory can be recruited for the gene to be induced. So, I see, there's a mutant X. Uh, the mutant X, uh, lack of run, it kind uh, so basically the lack of run is expressed when lactose is not around. So that means repression uh, is dysfunctional. Uh, if the repression is dysfunctional, I wish, uh, so, it can be either like I or operator. Right? You shouldn't, shouldn't be promoted. You promote it, you can, the, the, the gene shouldn't be expressed. So the B is gone. And this shouldn't be the case. Right? Uh, this is has, it's not induced. Uh, well, I don't have too much evidence to, to eliminate A right now. Let's move on. So, uh, there are two strains in this person's lab. The first one is the lack I mutant. The second one is the structure D mutant. So if this one is mutated, the lack of round can be expressed. Even the lack of <coughs> round around. Second one, well, only the lack D will be expressed, the lack bio will not. So the complementation result is there. The complementation will basically uh, in the equalized cell, they uh, they they will put back X using the data, and then in uh, strand one, we have a back I mutant. Not 
is uh, let the UI still express. Uh, so uh, CAP binding side. If that one is mutated, unemployment cannot be recorded. This one uh, will not be expressed. So all the A can be eliminated. Right? I guess just just almost like same way you eliminate the D. Right? So we focus on C and the D. Uh, if it's like I, if this one like X is like I, that means the, this D can still be expressed. If it's the operator and then this one will have a functional like I and the string one will be repressed so it cannot be C because if uh, oh it has to be C, I'm sorry uh, I just, uh, uh, it cannot be D because if, if the mutation is in D operator the like I is still wild type so, so if, if the mutation, if the like x is in O, that means the, this one, the like i is still wild type. Right. But, and then this thing will be repressed. So, because like i can work no matter whether it's in, in, in transposition or in cisposition, this thing can uh, express the repressor. Uh, once, once the repressor is there, this thing will be repressed. Right, so, so it cannot be operator, which means the it, the like i is most consistent choice on this. Okay. Uh, and then actually, I just use strand one since to already narrow it down. But you can you can verify whether strand two is still the same. Right, so strand two like i positive, and if it's like i positive, it's still going to be the same. So that's also consistent. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, okay. So we have a equalized strand, uh, tryptophan positive, leucine negative. We have another equalized strand which is F minus. This one is tryptophan negative and leucine positive. Uh, what media we are going to use to select for the plus plus? But if I want to say what media should we use to set for minus minus? <laughs> if if I change the question, what media should we use to to select for tryptophan minus and losing minus? What? Then we you use C. Okay. Uh, if you use C, uh, so so. This time I'm, I'm going to select for trip minus and losing. Trip to the minus and the losing minus. So, um, how many how many uh, strings I have? I have trip to plus and losing minus. I also have uh, trip to the minus and the losing minus. Right. So, so this is parent one. This is parent two. This is my F one. I think. So. so <laughs> Will the parent one grow at the C? This one actually will grow, this one grow, this one also grow. They all grow at the C, so it's actually not going to work. What? <coughs> right. With how I'm going to select from minus minus? Say it again. Uh, so, uh, so, so if I use minus minus, uh, this one won't grow. This.
they're all gone, so and none of them have both as fast. And then I'm going to select, in fact, uh, triple and twelve, losing twelve. In fact, I'm going to select one. instead of the six, this child, I'm going to select for this child. You select for that one if you want. Okay. Trip plus and loop plus, like you're going to do C. First question. Uh, uh, okay, say it again. Uh, like for this question, like right. that's what you want to select for the. You'll choose C. I want to select for the F1A, triple and minus, and losing minus. Also, then for this question, if you want to select for positive, positive, and you'll choose D. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I uh, now I change the question. <coughs> I'm not going to select for trip plus losing plus. I'm going to select for trip minus and losing minus. Okay. So just the opposite of right. what you're asking. Right. So, uh, in fact, now it's going to work. Yes. Oh, you have that. Why P2 grow on this? Yeah. Because it has everything. But so P2 doesn't have losing, and this one gives it losing, so it's going to live. And it's tryptophan plus, it doesn't matter. They are, oh, sorry, this, are, this should be. Uh, okay, but here, do you have to do a replica of plates? Mm -hmm. If you want to select all, this one. Like, that would be two different plates, so one needs yeah. to be a yeah. yeah. plus, which yeah. is minus, and the other one needs to be like yeah. So, if, if we want to select for this one, we are going to use this plate, uh, this media, and this media. Yeah. Because in this media, everything will grow, so we are going to use uh, so all the plates that grow. Uh, oh, uh, we actually probably even more than that. Uh, we probably have to. Uh, no, this one is not good because the. Oh yeah, that, that's right. We need this one, uh, and then we also need this one. I say some of them sudden grow, and if we, okay. This, sorry, this question seems to be much more complicated than it can be. <laughs> so let, if we assume this is P1, this is P2, this is F1A, this is F1B. So, and then, uh, just for simplicity, let's just use the same number. So, uh, this all this will grow, and on this one, uh, this one will not grow. Uh, this one will grow, so we do not want this. One. This is we know uh, this will be plus plus. This one won't grow. This one won't grow. So we know well by using this media, we we know uh, this one we do not want. And then there must be a simple way to do this. And uh, we have to also replicate to this plate. Uh, have this again. Uh, will this one grow? It also doesn't grow. But the uh, P2, P2 won't grow. And P1 will grow. But P1 has its chip to the minus. I'm losing, I'm sorry, this one should be losing right? fast. Uh, P2 will grow. Uh, and this plus plus always grow. So the plus plus always grow. So, <coughs> so we if that is the case we this yeah we need this uh, to verify the minus minus. Yeah. It's just too bad uh, this two also won't be verified. So, and then we have to do a third one. Have to put this one again there. Uh, so this one will grow. Oops, bring one. This one 
Krishna Mon Guru, Lat Kwan B or Still Guru, uh, it should be this one Guru, this one Guru, it has to be the same. Yeah. So, this minus, minus is the one, only grow on the rich media, but doesn't grow on all other combinations. Uh, okay, that's the. Uh, I saw this one step by Dectory <laughs> multiple. This is a bit more complicated. Than it. Okay, fine. but it's good for exercise. All right, so. So. Here's uh, another question. Uh, is the mutation rate of uh, 1 out of uh, 10 million and genome size of uh, 5 million base pair? And how many replication on the genome are needed to expect a single point mutation? You probably want to take a piece of paper and work on this and also write your name on it. Uh, I, give this, I give this one in my first year at Spelman. Uh, Probably 12 students, only one of them will be the Thank you. 